In this video, we're going to be looking at ripping and burning CDs and DVDs. I have a disc here in my drive, audio CD, with some tracks on it. We go down to our disc drive, right click and say rip CD, wait for it to load and it'll bring up our tracks. Under settings, you can customize the rip settings. You can choose how to encode the files. You can choose the folder for the ripped files. You can also choose the naming convention. In this case, we're going to be going with album artist, album, disc track, and name. You can also append a pre-gap or remove. You can automatically start rip on CD insertion, automatically retrieve album artwork from the internet, as well as analyzing volume and writing replay game tags. You can also customize the rip completion sound. Select the drive, you can validate RIP using accuraterip.com, and you can choose RIP speed. My default will set to maximum. We can perform a quick RIP, secure RIP with error recovery, or check C2 errors. We'll perform a quick RIP. We'll save these settings. Then we'll say start RIP. We can also specify information about the album here if you would like or we can use the tagging tools later. We'll just say start rip. When complete, you will see your ripped music under your music B installation library and ripped files. And we'll go through the unknown album and artist and we have here our songs. Of course, you can change the location of where these files get placed but I'll go ahead and put them in the inbox. But do notice how we encoded these tracks in MP3 format. Let's look at burning a disc. I've inserted a fresh CD and I'm going to create a playlist or select a couple of songs for us to burn. I'll select a song, this one, this one, that one, this one. So we have some songs that we've selected. Maybe inside Taiwan. And we will send these to a new playlist. I'll say I'll just create a playlist so I can keep track of what I want to burn. And I'll select these songs. We'll say burn to disk and drag these songs here you have some options here available for example you can choose audio cd this will create a standard cd audio cd that will work on every cd player or any device that can play regular audio cds you can also choose a data cd dvd or blu-ray this will provide more information about each track, but you're going to need a modern CD player to display this information. You can also choose the MP3 CD. You can also choose the, the naming convention for the files. For example, if we don't want the numbering next to the name, we can erase that, take that out. And we just have artist and name. You can choose to save artwork to folder.jpg and create subfolders for each playlist and track. You can choose to eject the disk when burning is complete, play a sound, or delete source files. Be very careful checking this and minimize the status bar when burning starts. Please note that when you're making a data CD, DVD, or Blu-ray, these type of CDs will not work in all players. So keep that in mind. Choosing audio CD will ensure maximum compatibility. You can choose your disk label. And I'll call this one Soundscape. And we'll hit burn. Once the burning is complete, you can check your drive and see that you now have a newly burned disc with your music files and its artwork. And that is ripping and burning CDs in Music Beat.